Hi, it's Maria from the Tarot Shop and in this video, as you can see, we're going to take a look at the brand new Healing Spirits Oracle by Gordon Smith. Um, I'm going to take you through the deck and then I'm probably going to go into quite a bit of detail with this one and certainly how to use it at the end of it based on his instructions. So it's going to be a little bit more in depth. I'll try and keep it as brief as possible because I know time is precious to all of you. But um, this is a deck that was... Um, the reason that I'm going to go through it in quite detail is because I trained at the Arthur Findlay College for mediumship. And to me, any deck that can help people connect to the spirit world was something that I was really interested in. And he's managed to achieve, achieve it, actually. It's, it's a very unique proposition. He's um, pulled together 48 cards and each message that is on the card has been channeled from the particular realm, the spirit realm. And he's worked with an artist called Naomi Walker, who has used her artistic abilities to be able to um, allow your third eye opening um, as you look at the card. So it's quite a special deck, actually. So we'll have a look through it in a moment. Um, I... Let's get straight into it, Ashley. Here's the box to start with. And then inside the box, it, it says, To all who use these cards, reach out with your heart and mind to the highest and best in the spirit world. Ask them to bless and give healing to all readings you give to yourself and others on the path. You'll notice straight away that he's saying that this is for yourself, but also for others. And it's because it's a deck that allows you to connect with spirit. So I'll pop that box to one side and then go through the book slightly a little bit here the first thing that um, Gordon does is explain to you about the spirit world working with spirit and I'll go into a little bit more detail in that in a second based on what he's explained in here um, the introduction to the cards basically these came into his consciousness when he first started about 30 years ago and the time wasn't quite right. And now he believes that we've come to the time where it's more important than ever that we're able to have that divine connection to spirit. So he's basically giving us a tool that will open the door. And I can't, there's not anything more to say about that. And it goes through, so you need this book in order to be able to use a deck because you can see, for example, card 33 here, it gives you the, the explanation that is also duplicated on the card along with a message that it has been channeled through. So you do need the booklet in order to be able to use it. At the very end of it, he tells you how to sit in the power, as we call it, which is basically you sit still and you focus on your breathing until you reach a state of calm and you your mind is clear. So you kind of get into a bit of a meditative state, but there's no guided meditation. It's just literally sitting in the power. And we try and do that as often as we can to allow our ego to step aside, which is effectively the voice in our head. Um, there's also the healing realm here. So he talks about healing. So there's a couple of guidances there from him at the very end of it. So the deck is 48, 48 cards. And you have... 12, four sections. It's not complicated. You have four sections. So there's 12 within each. And I'm going to describe it to you as he has. Should we look at the cards first? We'll look at the cards first. And then I'll explain to you a little bit more about it. So these are the backs. And then if you're interested, as I say, to find out more about how to use them, then stick around and we'll go through them at the end. So I'm going to take my time. They're stunning. You see there's a little number in the corner here because numbers are power, as we know. And um, words, words and numbers and visuals. So it's all been very sensitively done. So there's 12. Then we move into the second section up to 24.
And then the third section. Remember, there are four sections. This is the third section. You don't need to worry about the sections at the moment. It will make more sense to you when I go through it at the end. But basically, they're divided into four realms. I always struggle with that word. Realms. Realms. And then we're now into the fourth realm. Realm. They are, I see. I'm going to get out my trusted, my trusty pen and paper so that I can describe this to you a little bit better in a second. So those are each of the cards. That's all 48 cards. Now, my pen and paper. I'm going to have to do basic stick man to help you understand how this works. So, for example, these four decks are you and he describes spirit world and you've got um, here you are. OK, I'll try and do it on a. Um, a layer system, because that's effectively how we tend to think in a linear way, don't we? So well, here we have human. OK, this is you and I. And then by the side of us, we have a spirit guide. So this is a spirit guide. OK, spirit guide works with you for life. Literally works with us. So we're effectively one and the same. We're working together from you from the moment of birth through. And then you have the next level, which is the what he calls the healing spirits. Also, you have loved ones here that have crossed over, you know, with with the spirit guys. So there's kind of this layer. Then you have the healing. And then immediately above that, you have the teachers. These are the wise people, and these are people that have usually been to Earth. So, I mean, I can't think of a name. Just Gandhi, say, for example, does it, has done an earthly an earthly journey and has now transcended over to the other side and is on the teaching realm. And then the final level you have, well, not the final, and you have source here, pure light. And in here you have the ascended masters. Now, these will also be what you would call the angelic realm. Just think of it as pure light. And then you have this ascension. OK, and here we are. Now, the first 12 cards. Work with. Let me just have a little go here with the healing spirits. OK, this is the first one to 12. Then the spirit guide is 13 to 24. Right, those that know me know that this is a huge gamble that I'm going to get these numbers wrong. And then the teaching realm is from cards 25 through till 36. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, Lord, to have been able to have counted. 37 to 48 are these numbers here. And that's what he's done. He's worked with each of these levels to get a card from, so if I take the first 12, and for me, I just think that this would be an amazing way, right? Say, for example, 11, let's go, 11, let's keep it real. We're not going to cut and make this all perfect, right? Okay. So you would use all of these cards here are from the spirit realm of the healing spirits. And you can see it, spirit healers and helpers are with you. Be calm, heal the past. So this is the healing realm, send out help to others. And this is how this, this area works here, this realm, sorry. Endurance is the key to the first step you have taken. So this is the first 12. This is the healing realm. And then you move on to the next 12. Have I almost done it. I almost did it then with a 23. This is your spirit guide realm. So you can see this is a spirit guide talking to you. Happiness is from freedom of fear. You came to serve. Always in motion, one spirit guide, one way, in a space, a spiritual hug. I'm not going to read them all, but you saw them all in the things, but ask your spirit guide. So these are all the spirit, um, the spirit guides. And then you move into the teaching section, which is 
So you can see that if you want to evolve spiritually, you can either pick a realm and work with these 12 cards, get in, sit in the power, and then feel drawn to whichever card you want to do is one way to do it. You're on the right path. When it feels right, do it. So these are the, the people that have lived in the, the spirits that have lived earthly lives and also then have transcended and they are now working. And then you have the final realm, which is as close to the angelic, well, it's the angelic realm, the ascended masters, whatever you want to call it, because we all have our different names for it. And you can see that this is the realm of light. So if you wanted to develop your spirit guide relationship, I would suggest that this, the, look how I've done that so badly, um, that this would be a really good deck to use because you could effectively pick out the spirit guide section and then keep working. Now, if you want to work with the whole of the spirit realm, which I also recommend, maybe after you developed your spirit guide relationship a little bit, and I know a lot of people say to me, how do you develop your spirit guide relationship? Well, this is a really good way. And then let's just pull a card, for example, I'm going to just randomly go there, number 36, right? So then I go to the book, and what, where is the little book? What did I do with the little booklet? You go to the booklet. Excuse me, I'm so sorry, it's under my paper. And you choose number 36. Okay, so then I know that I've chosen that. It's in the previous one. The math, not a strong suit. Okay. Sometimes it's better to stay silent than let others see that you have all the answers. There are times when you need to pause for consideration rather than act on the sake of it because it's expected of you. The truly wise spirit masters know when to speak and when to listen, when to act and when not to act. They are our greatest examples of how to behave in a moment of uncertainty. Remember that wisdom comes from experience, not brashness. And being spiritual sometimes just means being. When dealing with people who are awkward, simply remember to be kind, as kindness is above right or wrong. So you can see that that's, that's how you do it. So you choose that area. Now, um, Gordon suggests that you sit in the power. And it does help to do it at the same time every day because then spirit know that that's what you're doing. Um, and they kind of get ready the whole thing. There's no such thing as... Um, as uh, accidents and things so basically they're with you all the time and then they're like okay there's a commitment now to do this and then it makes it easier for them you don't have to do that but it's a good idea even if you can have 10 minutes every day where you sit in the power and then you start to develop your relationship with the spirit world using these cards as a as a tool to help you get answers and give guidance and give guidance to others also so these are one of a kind and these are the Healing Spirits Oracle. So I hope that you found that helpful and interesting. Um, I didn't just want to go through that in the standard because this is obviously an area that um, I'm very comfortable with. And I also wanted to make sure that it was an accessible and understandable for you, um, as I do with the tarot. I think these tools are here to be shared so that we can help enrich our lives and we help enrich the lives of others as well. So that's why I do what I do. And it was important to get that across with this deck for me. So I hope that you found that very useful and um, thanks very much for your time. Bye-bye.